Hello everybody, what's up? Alexander again and today I'm gonna be reviewing and testing Norton Bootable Recovery Tool. That's basically a um, Norton Rescue City and uh, I have infected a machine. It doesn't look like an infected machine but um, it's not infected, it's uh, highly highly infected. <laughs> so I have um, I have used some Trojans Spiver, Adver, Worms, Rootkits, TDL4, TDL3 Rootkits, then I have used uh, some patching viruses like Celite, like Virut that patches um, every single EXE that you run in your system. I have Facebook bot over here, this is a process that uh, it's using. Fake SVHose.exe. So look at these uh, malicious processes. There are a lot of them and um, we will try to clean up this machine using a Norton bootable recovery tool now I'm go going to restart the machine and boot from a CD oh. I, I need to be faster Pressing uh, escape button. What the hell is this? Again. Let me try again. <laughs> oh, oh no. One more time. There we go. CD. Boot from CD. Press any key. Windows is loading files. I'm not gonna be showing you. Um, how to how to build an ISO image to a um, CD or removable drive um, I'm not uh, I will not go through that process today um, but I will leave a link in description if you want to build an ISO it's easy just um, download um, Norton I know what it's called Norton Download Manager I believe and um, it will ask you to make an ISO just make an ISO and burn it to CD using um, you can use um, Image Burn it's a free program or you can use um, Narrow whatever you like now we are booting up in the virtual environment from the CD and um, we will now after it finished this we will update uh, various definitions we have uh, internet access and that's the that's nice that's the good thing about it and not only about Norton you can also update every single bootable anti-malware solution that you want sometimes from some reason um, some bootable anti-malware CDs that does not recognize your drives that happened to me a couple times so now I will um, I will pause the video and uh, I will enter a pin code hang on for a second okay there we are this is uh, an interface if you go to advance here you cannot configure that much you can just open up command prompt window that's uh, we don't need that so you can change location for log and uh, you can roll back changes and now we will start scan so it's updating protection definitions so as you can see this is uh, the current version of uh, virus definitions now I'm gonna pass the video and uh, I'm I'll be back uh, once this is done scanning and I'm gonna be I will show you the results 
Okay, so hold on. Okay, I'm back, and uh, after half an hour, um, scan does not go further. It stopped, and uh, look what Norton found. It found 23 infections. It found it found a virus. And then Trojan horses, backdoor. This is a TDL4 rootkit, I'm pretty sure. Norton call it um, TID serve inf whatever, but I'm pretty sure that's um, TDL4. It finds some Trojan downloaders, info staler, win32. No, this is not Sality. This is a Win32 Sality. So as you can see, a lot of crap on this machine. Uh, I will cancel the scan now, and I'll be back when once uh, Norton finishes uh, fixing these infections. All right, I'm back, and then uh, Norton completed fixing these infections and uh, it resolved almost everything I say almost because uh, it was not able to repair this um, backdoor TDL4 rootkit so but it um, resolved some other very nasty infections it took a while but um, that's okay because these are all very serious infections so now I'm gonna I'm gonna scan again. I'm gonna give it another shot and we will see what it finds in the second scan. After that we will repair everything and um, reboot the system and do a scan with Malwarebytes to see um, what we have left behind. So hold on for a second. Um, I'll be here once Norton finishes uh, scanning. Okay, uh, Norton finished scanning for the second time and it only found that uh, TDL4 rootkit again and the uh, repair failed as you can see. Norton has um, a tool for it for that, it's called the uh, Fix TDSS and it removes um, this, this type of malware successfully. We will now start Windows normally and um, we will do some scans with Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro and uh, some anti-rootkit scanners like uh, TDS, uh, Kaspersky TDSS, excuse me. So Windows is booting up. Hopefully our explorer is alive and uh, other significant things. So far I don't see desktop icons. But it doesn't mean that the uh, system is damaged. Let me pause the video for a second. Okay, uh, I'm back and uh, obviously um, this system is uh, damaged. Explorer is, um, is damaged. So I cannot access the desktop. It constantly logs me off and on, as you can see. I cannot boot up into the safe mode. It uh, gives me a blue screen of that. So um, apparently, these infections uh, were very, very nasty. So Norton did not uh, manage to to clean all of this. Maybe it didn't. It did, but. Um, 
as you can see system is corrupted now and um, that's not good so I cannot make any conclusion about this Norton bootable recovery tool um, the one thing I don't like about it is uh, it was not able to remove that um, TDL4 rootkit and um, maybe another minus is that uh, it was not uh, it freezed a couple times during the scan I did not record everything because I didn't want to bother you with that but uh, that's a big minus for me so I pre-made a snapshot of this um, highly infected machine and in the next couple days maybe tomorrow I make another video but uh, this time with um, Kaspersky Rescue City uh, one of the best out there and we will see how it um, cleans this machine these very nasty infections over here so that's it for today please comment rate and subscribe it's free <laughs> I'm joking and uh, thanks for watching everybody and have a nice day so bye bye